Okay, so somebody stop the school shooter, he'll like fill with rage. I'll put this in first, that way you can explain why this is a wet shirt now, and then this is- a, it's a dry shirt in the video. I'll, I'll be sure to put that in. Alright guys, before you guys get mad at me, please hear me out. How do you guys expect me to process a 30 minute video just tearing me apart? He's already bitching. He's already complaining that, guys, I know I got a lot of dislikes in that last video, but how could you expect me to, to deliver such a- such a perfect video within within the span of four days because you know I had to get a I had to respond really quick guys How do you expect me to film? How do you expect me to talk in front of a camera? How do you expect me to do this and all this and this and that for a 30 minute video? Maybe if you weren't such a prick you wouldn't have gotten a 30 minute video on you uh, That's one point. Second point. You're already bitching that you lost. You're acknowledging all the hate and dislikes that you got and now that it's because you have to defend yourself, that's pretty much what you've been doing this entire time. You've been defending yourself. You kind of, you kind of acknowledge that it did tear him apart. So there's one L for you. That shit's kind of depressing. And then thinking of a response video. Think of a response video. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not too sure about that. You really didn't think much on it considering that you missed two points. And you didn't even acknowledge the diss track about, about you. So right there, you had three points that you didn't have to really think about. As far as filming goes, my god, I'm so sorry you have to sit in front of your chair and look at a fucking camera. This is so hard right now for me and my 720p webcam. It, it, I can imagine it being very difficult for you to just do all these movements. And first of all, you you did say you had a sim, cinema, you did say you had a cinematographer. <laughs> so, um you really didn't do much of the filming, by the way. Uh and editing half. So right there you're you're kind of you really didn't do that much work. You're proving yourself that the hashtag is real. Right, scum is a bitch. Then filming a response video, then editing half of it because, you know, T-Wop edited the other half, you know, shout out to him. T-Wop edited the other half, you know, shout out to him. Nah, but... T-Wop edited the other half, you know, shout out to him. Yeah, I mean... T-Wop edited the other half, you know, shout out to him. Yeah, bro. T-Wop edited the other half, you know, shout out to him. And then making a full song, hitting the studio, recording the song, and then recording the music video, and then getting that edited all in five days. It's only been five days. It's only been five days, man. I'm sorry. I should have probably taken more time to make something more, uh, more strong and hard hitting. But you know what? I couldn't because I had to I had to keep up with the hype beast, man. My 12 reels expect me to be on top of my game. You know, I just want to spend a little bit more time on it because my last two music videos has been kind of the same. <laughs> If you were to make a rice gum content cop, I mean that would blow him up even more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, man, you you really should have just taken more time. I don't I don't expect you to drop something so so fast from a thirty minute ass ripping. Okay, so. You can't really use that as, as an excuse for this because it was utter, utter trash what you did. What, what you did was so stupid. I can acknowledge that the filming must have taken a long time. Must have taken more shots than usual. The acting, however, it was pretty stupid. The acting was terrible. The, the stripper pole it was probably where the most uh, work went into, I guess. And it wasn't even you because all you did was shot a gun. But that girl... That girl put in more work than you did. Same thing. I would just go in random places with the cameraman, kind of what Idubs did in his video. You know, his was kind of ass. You know, his song was awful too. His song was awful too. Okay, well, I'm not gonna say Idubs is the best. It, it, like, it was the best diss track because he doesn't make diss tracks and he only did it as a parody for you. As far as uh, having those like witty, witty, uh, witty lines, he did pretty all right. 
I think he did pretty all right. I mean, a few favorite of my examples are. Hey, look afraid, must have seen a ghost rider. Well, ditto, little bitch, but I'm not scared to show mine. Gotta flex, flex, flex. Uh -huh. Because when you've got no personality, replace it with a Rolex. Oh. How the fuck can someone call gum not realize they're in a bubble? Did it feel good, though? So those, those are, those are pretty good. Uh, trash? I'm not so sure. Was it the best? I mean... I can't say it was. I, I mean, I enjoyed it, but it, as far as being the best, I don't think so. Going to random places just like Idubs did. I mean, if you've seen any of his videos, that's usually what his backgrounds are usually are. They're just like, you know, it's either goddamn sewer or just in the middle of nowhere. All his content cops are filmed, you know, like at least the intro, at least is usually filmed in some random place. But it, most likely it's always like a desert kind of scene or a beach. I don't know. That building, though, I, I don't know. What that building was i don't know why you, they did the cult there it seemed kind of weird the alley you know it's it's like slumps type of thing i'm sorry he doesn't have enough money to be affording a to be uh filming at a mansion uh, or sorts like that so look tomorrow out 100 percent. okay don't be mad at me i'll give you guys one third of the song right now okay deal wait you kidding me i'm only listening to one third of it why do you keep you gave out 20 seconds of a song on your actual video and now you're giving out a third of it you're just milking it at this point I know that can be said about me and doing this video, but I'm not even going for the full full diss track because I expected this to be the full diss track. What what are you doing? Okay, you're just you're making it. You're you're killing the hype basically because now you're only giving two minutes of a song as opposed to twenty seconds. If that twenty seconds is in this song, then you're only giving you're giving less than what you're you're give, you, you what you're supposed to be giving. You're milking it now instead of releasing trash like early access games are. Send out the full thing, dude. What are you doing? Just take more time. Stop being a little bitch. See, I didn't even want to make this video. But considering it was like, it was only going to be two videos. Because that's all I wanted to do. I only want to make two videos. One on the response because that pissed me off so much. And I was like, I kind of had to make this track. Plus, the last one was so good. <laughs> the last one being like the most popular video. Considering it has 24 likes as of now. It was like, oh yeah, of course. Because it's a very... A trendy topic so i mean i will i will give credit where credit's due like if i see a line that's that's pretty good um i will give credit there i'm not gonna be uh an asshole and just be like you know why everything is trash rice can those if the rice tracks are always always trash and give that meme where that guy has headphones in a recycling bin indicating that it's trash but it's actually like recyclables <laughs> Shots are fired. Shots are fired. Are you indicating that items just shot fired up some shots, dude? I mean, you did copy his thing, so I guess that's what it is. A 30 minute vid. I'm who you're obsessed with. You look like your sister is the girl that you have sex with. You look like your sister is. Like your sister, like your sister, like your sister. You look like your sister is the girl you have sex with. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> so, the first line. A 30 minute vid I'm if you're obsessed with. Dude, he wouldn't even make the video if you didn't call him out in the first place. You were the one who asked for it in the first place. So don't tell me that he's obsessed with it just because he responded to what you wanted. Okay? Don't tell me that you're obsessed with him because you're the one that was like, I kind of really want it. I, I really kind of want a contact cop. I don't really want it. Okay? This is... I, I didn't mean to do this racist shit. I'm just kind of picturing the, the image in my head. I didn't mean to, I mean to make it like Asian boy. Uh. Yeah, do you get the message on Twitter thread? Ray, please should get this guy arrested. But I'm please, 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 please flexing. Can you get these sheep out my mansion? How can I be mad, bitch? I sleep in a mansion. How can I be mad, bitch? I sleep in a mansion. Well, considering you're even making this in the first place, I guess so. And I guess uh, Rich, you know, really, Rich, being rich really does buy happiness. You know, it's the key. It's the key to all happiness, really. You can't be angry ever if you're if you live in a mansion. If you if you're rich, if you're flexing, because fuck me, I don't know, I don't know, I'm I'm not rich, I'm like middle class over here. <laughs> Props to him on Twitter. Threaten rate, we should get this guy arrested. All right, I'm not even. So far, I'd say kind of weak. Threaten rate, we should get this guy arrested. Says the fucking guy who was gonna make a Netflix sex. Really, he just he just really like he's ignoring everything. Threaten rate, we should get this guy arrested. Because he threatened rape on Twitter. You know how sensitive everything is. You know when you call Trump an idiot on, on Twitter, people go off on that shit, dude. But for real, I mean, you deleted 
the evidence to a to an almost crime you committed, really, and you you even acknowledge that you you almost made it too. We're no one's ever gonna forget that, Rice. Just because you don't acknowledge it doesn't mean we're not gonna forget that. So don't even speak about the arresting part. The sheep, man. I mean, seeing as how the thing came out uh, 15 minutes ago, uh, it's already got a bunch of likes and dislikes. When I'm pretty sure, you know, it's like. During this time, more than ever, you're going to get more likes than ever. Because now the people who are like, oh, there's beef going on, dude. There's some serious beef. Idubs came into the picture. No no one's as big as Idubs when you, when it comes to the diss tracks. So, of course, you're going to get a lot of support. Because people feel bad for you. People feel bad about the dislikes you're getting. And they're the sheep as well. Everyone, Everyone's a sheep at this point. Keemstar is a sheep to you because of how much he's sucking your dick on Twitter. My Twitter feed over the last couple days is, you're sucking off rice gum, you're sucking off rice gum. That doesn't even make sense because if you have this opinion that I'm sucking off rice gum, then you are automatically sucking off iDubs. How can you accuse me of being a dick sucker without you being a dick sucker yourself? So Keemstar's point is that it's basically the same as rice gum's point. It's pretty much the same because he's saying, just like how Ricegum said that, oh, because PewDiePie did it, it's free for everybody to do it. By the way, new shirt. I did, it's a future Mario over here. Because PewDiePie did it, I'm free to do it. So he's taking that point as well. You know, if you're a dick sucker, if I'm a dick sucker, that means you're a dick sucker. It's like saying, well, if, if I'm gay, you're fucking gay. You know, it's like, there's no resolution to this. You're still acknowledging you're a dick sucker. But it's the same as Ricegum's point. Is it's the same as Ricegum's point. If I'm this, then you're this. It, it's, and I can't believe how much, how many times he says it too, and how much he says sheep. Dick sucker. Dick sucker. Sheep. Dick sucker. Dick sucker. Dick sucker. You're a dick sucker. Sheep. Brag on that. Go ahead. I. This was an inconvenience, but go ahead. Light me up with this. Be a sheep and make a point about the sheep. At this point, it's not. I'm not even like. Trying to say, oh, items did it better. Oh, items did this. Fucking, my pants are wet. Rice gum. The fact that he can't contradict his, his items' points sucks. It, that's the whole point of what he was supposed to do, and he didn't do it. Which that's what really that's probably what pisses off a lot of a lot of people. He just he just used a scapegoat. He used PewDiePie as a scapegoat. And when people like you, Keemstar, when you're on here making Twitter videos and shit about this, you're just, you're filling Ricegum's head with lies and with this fantasy that he's doing the right thing. You're truly sucking off his dick, dude. Go ahead. I don't care. Call, call me a dick sucker because that's your only point of defense that you have. You have nothing else to, you have nothing else to come at me with. Just be a fucking grown up. Fucking grow up, Keem. Oh. <sighs> Making these fucking videos in your goddamn kitchen! Try to hold me back, but I keep on advancing when I'm looking at his head. Ooh, that shit's so gigantic! What are you talking about, his head, boy? Your fuck, like, 90% of your head is just your fucking face. I'm coming still, bitch, my pockets feel 100 bills. Alright, we got it. There's another flexing line. I'm in the hills, bitch, my soldiers did 100 mil. Okay, there's another flexing. They're telling me to stop flexing, but I'm stunned still. Okay, there's another flexing. Oh, I ran it up all of a sudden, bitches wanna chill. Oh, she wants chill. She's the one that hit you up. Your, your dick is so massive. That she was just pretty much like, she was like magnetized to it, man. She just really, she was all up on you for it. But then after three years, you come and you, you apologize to her for uh, not even, not even a real apology. And furthermore, insulting more rape victims. Pretty much insulting her more. But sure, I mean, for you, man. I mean, I feel sorry for the girls, but good for you. Hey, you done crawled out your little cave. You got a girl, but I can tell that you a little gay. So what the fuck, dude? You just kind of contradicted your whole statement there. By the way, what are these background things happening in the back? I know, I know it's not his full music video, but what the hell's going on in the back? How come he censors in his other videos, but he doesn't censor one of his songs? Is it is it like a thing that music that music is not a uh, demonetized due to how much you're swearing in it? Is that a thing, dude? Because I might as well put my all my videos in the category of music just so I can be safe from that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be fucked. Oh. Oh, by the way, I want to point out that, the, that under this uh, thumb, this uh, video in the description, it says "family friendly, PG clean." Somebody stop the school shooter! He like filled with rage. Speak on my name, little bitch! I put you in the grave. My, I think the main point of this thing was that is that uh, Ricegum is still ignoring all the points that he failed to point out in the first place. So right now he's so dumb, 
and he's so unoriginal that all he does is just he flexes more. He just makes himself his appearance look better by saying he's rich. And he completely ignores any point that Idos makes. So pretty much it, it this is catered to his audience. His audience that are just mindless, they can't think for their own, who rely on their morals based on uh diss tracks of all things. What what happened? When he made that stuff about Keemstar um or Leafy, I didn't stop watching any of them. I'm still subscribed to them to this day. But I just I don't know. It didn't really do anything for me. It was just like, uh, you know, I can't believe he did this. Or, you know, you know, he kind of is. He is sensitive. And then Leafy, you know, he is kind of insecure with the space. But it's like, that's okay. I still like their content. I still like what they deliver. Kill me for that if you want to. I don't care. But if you're, if you're really going to kill me over that, I, be glad I'm not a Rice Gum fan. In the race, I see stars like I'm KO. Bitches chase me. I don't got no time to chase hoes. For the song, I was gonna make y'all wait though. But like H3, I had to let the weight go. <laughs> wait, go. Don't make fun of the precious Fupa rice. Come on now. Come on. Don't make fun of the mad Fupa. Ela loves that shit, bruh. Back to my point. What he really is doing is just uh, keeping his appearance up. That's all he's doing. He doesn't mention Idub's anything. He's pretty much proving Idub's points all the way through. I, 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 I said in the last one, in the last video, I said in the last video to just be careful the way you handle this because if you do it wrong, you're just going to send yourself more deeper in the hole and to the point where Idubs doesn't even have to make a content deputy because your responses speak for themselves. <sighs> All he's doing is flexing. This is such a waste of time to, to freaking watch two minutes of this crap. That's, that's why I'm saving you the time of watching this. That way you don't give him the revenue. More or less, I'm probably not going to get the revenue either because this might get demonetized because, I, I don't know, YouTube. But, like, that's the second time he mentioned the same point, which wasn't really any different from the first one that he did. He just put different words. I remember I was broke, I couldn't dress a lot. Came out from nothing, little bitch, that's why I flex a lot. Okay, so because you came out from nothing doesn't give you the reason to flex. It just makes you an asshole. His personality revolves around him flexing on what money can do, what money can buy. Be humble. What's wrong with you? Be fucking humble, dude. Why can't you just be humble? There's no excuse for being an asshole who just flexes his money. Making it rain on the homeless. Mind you. That's the whole reason I'm making it rain on the homeless. Because you came up from nothing. What about that fucker? He has nothing. What are you making it... You, first of all, you didn't come up from nothing. I have to point that out. You didn't come from up from nothing. You just had... You just had... You were less rich than the other rich boys that you couldn't afford all the new shit. Don't try to act like you came from nothing, okay? I can't really say I came from nothing. I did used to live in an apartment building. I'm just gonna. Get, get, I want you to get some in, insight here, so I can give you a perspective of what Ricegum sees and what I see. So I came up growing growing up in an apartment building in the ghetto of Chicago, where, you know, I think over like 20 family members lived in that apartment building, and it was owned by my grandparents. Um, so for the first 14 years of my life, I lived there, and. It was pretty shit. Pretty shit. Um, you know, small rooms. Um, small rooms. You always hear children screaming everywhere. You always hear this shit. Every now and then you hear a gunshot in the streets because some motherfucker got died. I once saw somebody be given CPR when I was like 10 years old out the window in the alley. Because, you know, and the back, the backyard, by the way, is cement. <laughs> the backyard was cement. I don't know if that means anything. And uh, there's an alley behind her house that connects to other houses. I saw a motherfucker be given CPR, okay? I saw that. I witnessed it. I saw his fucking body jump as the, as the what do you call it, EMT person? I don't know what you call that. Was pumping his goddamn chest. You know, that thing, whatever you do. Don't speak to me that you came up from nothing, motherfucker. Because that's insulting it to everybody who came up from nothing. I mean, where I'm here now, I'm not, you know, up there. Any, like, I'm not up there, but I'm, I'm pretty much better from where I was. And I acknowledge that. I'm humble about it. You'll see me flexing because I, I, I live in a new house now. You'll see me flexing on that because I, I'm humble about it. You act like your parents were never in the picture. You act like your parents didn't do anything for you. Motherfucker.
Lot. But yeah guys, just a little snippet. I really want to show you guys the full song so bad, but I really want to show you guys the full song with the visual and the music video. It's gonna look so sick. It's not like it's not gonna be any different, dude. Nobody cares about what you're showing. Everybody cares about what you what you write, what you put out. Not about your visuals. That's an excuse. But I just want to say for all the supporters that watched my last video that was all 20 minutes, if you watched all 20 minutes and you stuck till the end and you really enjoyed it, dropped a like, all that stuff, I really do appreciate it sticking by. Because sometimes when my channel gets like a wave of hate, people just see like, oh what, Rice Cup is being hated, let's just hop on the bandwagon. Oh yeah, because you're very, you're very well known for being such a nice guy. You're very well known for being liked by everyone. Yeah, that's true. And it's not, it's totally a bandwagon when it comes to all the dislikes. I mean, I would call it common sense logic fucking not being brain dead but anyone that watched the video know i redeemed myself and anyone that heard you know like 20 seconds of my song know that that 20 second of my song is better than his full diss track but i will see you guys tomorrow and if you guys are gonna hate on me tomorrow and drop a dislike on the music video don't even bother watching it all right all right guys i'll do i'll do what you say man i'll do what you say but that's not what you want is it now because the reason you made this was to just get that more money the re it wasn't because uh, I really want you guys to see the visuals. I'm picking at my lips. Ugh. I need a chapstick. <laughs> I don't have a chapstick. <sighs> Waste of time. Um, take your 10 cents, 20 cents for my view, because I'll let I'll gladly give you that. This is terrible. This is absolute garbage. Because I, when I look into these kind of things, I expect something smart. I expect something clever. Some witty remark or something, not just something about, not, not fucking like, what, five sentences about flexing? <sighs> Such a waste of time. It, you can tell how unoriginal somebody is and how brain dead they are when they can't even come up with diverse lyrics. Instead of wasting all this time about putting all these fucking car crashes in your, in this, in this lyric video, you could have used that time to just make the whole damn diss track. Instead of releasing two minutes of garbage, I'll probably get you less views. Or maybe more. I could be wrong. Items this track it was based on uh, Idols was based on facts. It was based on witty remarks revolved around those facts, and delivering it, delivering a punch to them. What you did was something a ten-year-old could come up with. It was something that the little rich boy would make in the school playground. Oh, huh. I think really what you should have focused more about was talking about Idubs. And not the part where you said that he looks a little gay. You could have just said full out that he looks gay. I mean, he didn't hold back with you. You should have just said he looks gay. Let me know that he's gay. I mean, he did ask for this. He asked for this in the first place. He got what he wanted. And now he's bitching about that he did got it. He did get it. Because I guess he failed. What he saw about calling out Idubs to get a contact cop on him was seeing, um, was getting more views. Which, this could have all been bait in the first place, by the way. Could have all been bait for him to just get more views and shit, so he could start a beef, because that's what he does. Even though he calls he calls a lot of pe other people irre irrelevant when his entire career is based upon him being irrelevant and call having to call out other people to make him relevant. He's calling out other people's names to make him less irrelevant than he is. <sighs> I think that's all I have to say about this man. I mean, right? Even the pin pin comments are. I think I'll, I'll, as I'm editing, I'll see if he changes the pinned comments every now and then, and I'll, I'll make sure to put in the, in the video. This is like past me talking, but you will, you will see a future me talking in case that does happen. So till next time, guys. Bye.